Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean, the stain specialist. Powered by the air you breathe, activated by the water you to hit. Bigger targets they become. Unprotected Practice machines like this one are You're right gonna love my nuts. Fishing. Watch this. All Just like the fake thing now. Come to the car. So you can do everything in the car. Watch this. 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 Head on. If you're someone who grew up watching TV or the internet, then chances are you've seen a lot of ads. Ads trying to get your attention to talk about the newest product you should buy for whatever reason. In the world of advertising, everyone is competing for your attention to sell you their products. And most of the time, we ignore them. For any company, big or small, ads are essential for growth and profit. But the thing is, no one likes ads. And no one wants to see them. But how do you get people's attention for something no one wants to see? Most ads are forgotten just as soon as people look away from them. And when ads do get attention, most of the time it's for infamous reasons. For being annoying, tone deaf, or being controversial in general. But once in a while, there will be a great ad that stands out from the rest. One that will stick in people's heads even if they don't buy the product. In the summer of 2006, a small pharmaceutical company by the name of Merrillus Healthcare managed to catch people's attention and get their product to stand out from all the rest. But not because their commercial was good, but because it was so bizarre that everyone who watched it wondered how something like this could even be made. But what made their commercial stand out from the rest? What was so bizarre about it? And how did something like this get made? This is the story of Head On. Okay, so imagine this. You're at home during the summer watching TV because streaming wasn't available yet. You're watching your favorite show, and all of a sudden, it gets interrupted by the commercial break. The commercials are telling you about the newest toy to buy or movie to see. Then, you see a pharmaceutical commercial. And it's telling you about over-the-counter medicines that can help you with your joint pain, itching, digestion, and everything in between. You tune out all of these commercials because they are boring and you just want to get back to your show. But then, something pops up on your TV. It's another pharmaceutical commercial. But this one, this one's different. It's not like any other commercial you saw that day. It catches your full attention. You don't tune it out. You don't turn away from the TV. You sit back in awe as you watch this. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. The commercial ends. You lean forward, amazed, as you ask yourself, what the f*** was that? What kind of commercial was that? What were they selling? How could something like this make it on TV? What the- This was most people's reaction when they saw Head On for the first time. Because it was nothing like anything they had seen before. Most commercials are professional looking and give the audience an idea as to what the product does and why they should buy it. But not this one. This was a cheap commercial of a woman rubbing what looks like a glue stick on her forehead while a robotic voice repeats the same phrase over and over and over again, shot on a green screen that isn't even keyed out properly as you can see a green haze around the woman's head. And to top it all off, they didn't even say what Head On was for. How did a commercial like this get made? Before we talk about how the commercial was made, Let's talk about Head On itself, and answer this question because the commercial didn't. What is Head On for? What does it do? According to the Merrillus Healthcare website, Head On was an over-the-counter medicine wax stick that you rubbed on your forehead to provide pain relief from headaches and migraines. So why didn't they say that in the commercial? Well, this is where things get a little interesting. Mirrorless Healthcare stated that the pain relief was provided from four active ingredients used in the head-on product. And these ingredients are a bit... questionable. The first ingredient was Iris Versicolor, also known 
as blue flag, a violet-colored flower that can be found throughout eastern North America. The thing is about blue flag, however, is that it's poisonous. If they were to be ingested, it can cause nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and even skin irritation. And although the poison is not strong enough to kill humans, it is able to kill pets and livestock. The second ingredient was white bryony, a berry plant that can be found in parts of Europe and northern Iran. And just like blue flag, this plant is also poisonous and can cause stomach pain, vomiting, and hypotension. But unlike blue flag, white bryony is fatal to both animals and humans, as it can cause respiratory failure. However, you need to consume at least 40 berries before it can become lethal. The third ingredient was potassium dichromate, a chemical reagent that is used for tanning leather, cleaning glass, and is even an ingredient in cement. Unlike blue flag or white bryony, this chemical is not poisonous. But it is carcinogenic, meaning that it can cause cancer. And if it happens to get into your eye, it can cause severe damage or even blindness. The final ingredient was golden seal, a plant native throughout North America that has been used to treat pink eye and sinusitis. However, high doses of golden seal can cause shortness of breath, muscle spasms, and paralysis of the nervous system. Also, pregnant women shouldn't take golden seal as it can cause carnicterus in infants. These were the four active ingredients used in Head On. But how could they use these ingredients if some are poisonous or cause cancer? Well, to do that, each ingredient had to be diluted heavily to be used safely. And when I say diluted heavily, I mean diluted to the parts per trillion. The dosage was so small that you didn't have to worry about getting cancer or getting poisoned from using Head On. Their website claimed that this heavy dilution was done in order to safely release the medicinal properties of the active ingredients. But there's a problem with that. Not a single one of these ingredients are clinically proven to help with headache relief. Even if they were, it would be completely useless because of how high the dilution is. How could they put ingredients that are not clinically proven to work into a product that's supposed to be used for headaches. Well, they don't have to, because Head On is homeopathic. It's more akin to a placebo than actual medicine. So Head On is a wax stick that you rub on your head made up of active ingredients that have been heavily diluted and are not clinically proven to work, and is homeopathic so it can't even do what it's advertised to do. And they want to make a commercial for it. So, Mirrorless Healthcare wants to make a commercial for their headache relief stick head on. And they end up making this. Why? Well, a theory at the time was that the commercial was made to deliberately annoy consumers. And so they would get headaches from the commercial and would have to go out and buy head on for relief. An interesting theory, but that's not the reason why. The real reason had to deal with legality. According to the Mirrorless Healthcare Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Dan Charon, the commercial we saw on TV was an edited version of recycled footage from an older commercial they made a few months prior. This older commercial used the same background, model, and actions that are the same in the one that we saw earlier. But instead of saying, Head on, apply directly to the forehead. They directly stated that Head on was a product used for fast, safe, and effective relief from headaches, migraines, and headache pain from sleeplessness. However, this original commercial got them into some trouble with the Federal Trade Commission and the Better Business Bureau. According to the FTC, if any company wants to make a commercial selling over-the-counter drugs or medicine in general, the company has to provide solid proof and scientific evidence to back up their claims. Because Head On is homeopathic and doesn't have any proof to back up their claims, they cannot say these in their commercial, or they'll get a large fine and be taken down by the FDA. The original commercial was scrapped, the statements were taken away, and they had to find a new way to market their product. But how do you market a product 
when you can't say what it does. Well, if the commercial can't tell the audience what the product does, then the commercial should at least get the audience's attention. They experimented with different types of commercials using focus groups to find one that garnered the most attention. But getting the audience's attention was only part of the goal. As Dan Charon stated, they wanted to stand out from their competitors that were selling pills for headaches. But their number one priority was recall. They wanted to build their brand by getting people to remember the commercial. So what's an easy way to get people to remember? There's a simple way. Repetition. Repeat the same phrase over and over again, and people will remember. Because it's repeated three times, they remember the slogan more so than if it was repeated just once. They experimented with repetitive commercials on their focus groups until they created one that groups remembered the most. And the one that was remembered the most was this. A repetitive 15 second ad of a woman rubbing a wax stick on her forehead while another woman's voice repeats, Head on, apply directly to the forehead. It was simple. It was repetitive. It was different from the competition. And most importantly for Mirrorless, it was legal. And although it might look cheap, this commercial had an estimated budget of $30 million, most of which was spent on buying airtime. The commercial was finished and ready to be aired on TV. So what did everyone have to say about it? While we've said this before in this broadcast leading up to this segment, it may be the most annoying commercial on television these days. It's repetitive, it's simplistic, its production values are beyond cheap, it's insultingly basic, and yet it works. Almost immediately, it was met with ridicule. Many articles would go on to list Head On as the worst commercial of that year, if not of all time. Throughout 2006 and 2007, Head On would be made fun of and become a bit of a meme throughout the year, with people making their own parodies of the commercial all over the internet. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. 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 Head crab, apply directly to the forehead. Dead on, apply directly to the forehead. Rock on, apply directly to the forehead. Face on, apply directly to the face. Hard on, apply directly to the... Look, you little white trash piece of sh Head on, mother apply directly to your mother forehead. Okay? There. It's all over. Head on! One person would turn head on into a ringtone. You can find a 10 hour version of it on YouTube. And another person would turn head on into a rap song. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. 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 Head on, to the forehead. Yeah! It was one of the biggest jokes of that year. A subject of mockery all over the internet and TV. But to Merrillus Healthcare, it was nothing but a success. Their goal was to get people to remember head on, and they certainly remembered it. They wanted to get people's attention, they got everyone's full attention. But not only was it a success, it was also a financial success. Within the first year of the commercial being aired, Head On managed to sell over 6 million units, with each being sold for $8. That means that they made $48 million in sales, minus the amount spent on the commercial's budget. Then they made an estimated profit of $18 million. Not bad for a small unknown company selling something that didn't work. People couldn't help but make fun of the commercial. Not even Merrillus Healthcare, as they would make a new commercial where they took the opportunity to take the piss out of themselves. Head on, apply directly to the head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply head on. I hate your commercial, but I love your product. They were in on the joke, even if it was never intended to be a joke. The publicity they got might have been in a negative manner, but as the old saying goes, there's no such thing as bad publicity publicity that would only last for so long. With their rising success, Mirrorless Healthcare would go on to sell and make commercials for other products, all of which using the same type of style that Head On used. 
Active on, apply directly where it hurts. First on, apply directly where it itches. Freedom from hemorrhoids, freedom hemorrhoid cream. Throughout 2006 and 2007, Head On and Mirrorless Healthcare would still see good success being a homeopathic company. But then, on September 26, 2008, the ownership of Head On was transferred over from Mirrorless Healthcare to a company named Survision. And Survision had a few changes in mind. For one, they changed the formulation for Head On by adding new ingredients to make it capable of providing headache relief. I couldn't find any information of what the new ingredients were, but Head On was now clinically proven to provide headache relief. But there's a bit of an issue with that. The reason why this commercial did so well was because it wasn't clinically proven to work and they had to find a way to air the commercial legally. Now that it was clinically proven to work, they didn't need these commercials anymore and can now say what it's intended for. Head On would continue to be sold in stores throughout the US, but sadly, they never made a new commercial. So what happened to Head On, Mirrorless Healthcare, and Survision? Well, there's not that much information, but here is what I was able to find. Using the Wayback Machine, I was able to find Survision's website. However, the website was in German, so there wasn't much to go on. The website would remain available until 2021 when they lost the website's domain name. Now, it's available for purchase by anyone. Why it was never repurchased, I have no idea. The website for Mirrorless Healthcare has been available since 2008 and didn't change that much throughout the years. It had information about Head On and its other products, had reviews from satisfied customers, and showed what stores you could buy their products from. The website would remain available until it was taken down sometime in 2016. As to the reason for why it was taken down, I have no idea. Head On, however, continued to be sold in stores across the U.S. and would move on to be sold from online retailers. I managed to find some reviews for Head On that seemed to suggest that it was sold as late as 2018. I also found another review from 2021, but could not verify if this was a real purchase or someone joking around. It seems that Head On was sold up until 2018 before being discontinued afterwards. As to the reason for its discontinuation, again, I have no idea. As mentioned earlier, Survision and Merrillus Healthcare would never make a new commercial for Head On or any of their products afterwards. With their only advertising presence on TV taken away and no transition over to the internet, people's interests would diminish and Head On slowly faded away into obscurity. And that's the story of Head On. A bizarre commercial for a product that didn't work and received ridicule for being cheap and terrible, a trait that we've seen a lot with commercials and ads today. It's not uncommon to see people make fun of an ad for being terrible, but Head On was different. It wasn't some cheap ad made by a multi-million dollar Fortune 500 company. It was made by a no-name company that no one knew of till now. They made a commercial that was unlike anything that had been seen before. A commercial that grabbed everyone's attention to all those who saw it. A commercial that certainly stood out from all the competition. A commercial that some people, to this day, still remember over 15 years later. And if that's not good advertising, well, then I don't know what is. Or maybe I'm giving head-on too much credit, and it really was one of the worst commercials ever made. But it was also one of the most unique and there might not be another commercial quite like it. Head on, head on.